For entertaining gameplay and much more, make sure to subscribe to Quickstroke HD. Quickstroke. Oh. What's up, guys? This is Quickstroke, and what you see here is a domination gameplay on Dome. And once I saw this pop up in the lobby, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to die 30 times getting B or A, you know, back and forth playing musical chairs with the flags like I always do because I play solo most of the time. Um, I was like, I'm just going to have fun, put on Assault Kill Streaks, the Reaper, AC-130, and just try to kill Horror, get a lot of kills, play a Slayer role. And I did that. Unfortunately, uh, some of my random teammates had the same idea so uh, you know I couldn't I had to get a couple flags I couldn't get a spawn trap going uh, and the the enemy team mainly had like the C flag or the B flag so uh, my kill streaks were just pretty much useless but I think I go 62 and 9 <clears throat> so turned out not to be too bad um, I came across this article online and apparently it's a quiz from 1948 and it is entitled how masculine or feminine are you and it has all these these uh, A or B questions like the first one is fabrics you would pick plaid for drapes or you would prefer flowered print I don't know they both seem if you're even thinking about that, you're, that's that's pretty feminine. So I, I don't know how there could be right or wrong answers for this. Gardening, you enjoy planting flowers or you prefer vegetables. Um, puttering, you like to make slip covers or repairing a chair is more fun. Uh, recreation, you like to go crabbing or dancing suits you more. <laughs> Personally, I like wrestling. <sighs> Reading, you like to read this war book or a romantic novel. Or movies, your favorite movie star is a man or your favorite movie star is a woman. A woman. Um, I, I don't understand this. Basically, you need one question. Do you enjoy sucking dick? A, yes, B, no. And there's, there's the answer to your question right there. I don't understand it. It says, uh, what we enjoy doing as grown-ups depends on early life. It's no reflection on your masculinity if you are a man and sometimes prefer feminine things. Yeah. Like, you know, as long as you, you suck the occasional dick, you'll be alright. And another thing I saw was apparently kids, teenagers, are drinking hand sanitizer to get drunk now. <laughs> not, not people in prison, just like normal kids. And that's just ridiculous. I, I always uh, was kind of brought up and I always thought that the, uh, the stricter people's parents were, um, the more the kids want to rebel, the crazier they end up. Um, like, see, I was always allowed to just have a beer if I wanted to, even when I was like 12. And it was never a big deal. And that's how it is like in Europe and other countries. They don't have, like, these strict drinking ages or anything. You go over there and, like, you know, a 15-year-old kid's having a glass of wine with dinner and he's not giddy about it. He's not sneaking it in the bathroom. You know, he's not uh, Instagramming it and shit like, yo, check me out with my glass of wine that mommy let me drink. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is over there. And that's kind of like how I was brought up, um, you know, my grandfather was a doctor, a uh, medical doctor, and, you know, I remember when I was, like, 13 going over there, it's like, uh, you know, he would say, like, what can I get you? Can I get you a soda? Can I get you a beer? Whatever. Like, it was no big deal. And growing up with parents like that or an environment like that, um, when it came time to go to college or, or high school, like, kids in high school, they're, um, you, know, you know, they're oh, so-and-so got a bottle of whatever, and, you know, we're going to sneak out and do this and that, and, you know, occasionally I'll drink a beer with them or something, but I didn't feel the need, like, I had to, like, this is my opportunity, I have to get hammered right now, like, it just, it, it wasn't like that, and then you see, you know, kids 
they're like, no, I can't, I can't, my mom would kill me if she found out, or this and that. And then uh, those are the same kids that once they get to college, they have alcohol poisoning freshman year because, <laughs> you know, they're not used to drinking or anything, and they just, they have this newfound freedom, and they go ape shit with it. And, uh, you know, end up getting alcohol poisoning, or girls, you know, wake up with their pants off, you know what I mean? And... I don't know, I think, uh, as far as, like, kids drinking hand san sanitizer to get drunk, I'm sure, like, people over in Europe are probably, they, if they read this article, they would just laugh, because, you know, only in America would, like, kids resort to, like, drinking mouthwash or, like, hand sanitizer and making YouTube videos <laughs> on it, you know what I mean? Uh... Apparently, like, one little bottle of hand sanitizer is equal to, like, five shots. But, I don't know why anybody would resort to that if, if it's that hard for you to, you know, find alcohol if you'd really want to drink that bad. And I don't know what to tell you, but to resort to drinking hand sanitizer, you know, like, smoke a joint or something else. I don't know what's wrong with these kids. I don't advocate doing drugs or anything, but... It's uh, that's just ridiculous. Drinking hand sanitizer. I mean, you gotta. That has to just slide right out your ass the next morning. There's no way that can be good for you. It's like you know, it has to be like drinking Vaseline or something. Eating vas, eating uh, like Vicks vapor rub or Vaseline or something. It's just crazy. Anyways, this gameplay is gonna be over in about a minute or so. It's, I edited out the Reapers and the AC-130s, um, they're kind of boring, I don't get a whole lot of kills with them, with spawn protection, and, uh, you know, like I said, I was just going for kills this game, but anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and more commentaries will be coming soon.